Okay, so we're ready to get started. We're on page five of the manual, and we've grabbed the bag that says start here. Now, according to them, we'll be able to quickly get up and running, uh, build, program, and play around with it, as they say, build, program, and go, with basically all the contents here and some of the other components that we have in order to build the first robot. So, let's get started. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this up. So let's just see what's inside of this. Looks like there's a lot of small parts. That's great. So what do we have here? We have, uh, kind of move this out of the way a little bit. So we have two wheels, three, four wheels. Okay, so we have four wheels here. Just kind of move these off to the side here. And uh, yep, we have four of those. We have one long rod here few shafts. Oh, we have another rod, kind of middle length. We have two almost J or L shaped, more like J. We have a bunch of uh, L brackets here. Not really sure what all the names are exactly. Let's see. Looks like we have a bunch of axles here. We have four axles, or Pegs. I guess these will be used to plug things together. We have more of these over here. That's the nice thing is they've put together all the pieces that we'll be using in the beginning to get started. Make it easy for us. We have a bag of connectors. I'm going to leave those together for now. We have some more. Uh, let's see here. We have more of these L connectors here. It's all very interesting. Let's see. We have these things here. Of course, you know, these are all things that uh, you have to use your imagination to start building. Good thing is that they have provided step by step so we can actually build some of these and get started easily. So that's basically all the components that are inside that getting started bag. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with step one. So, step one, we actually get to use the servos. So, let's separate the cables here and pull these out. So now we have that. Put these cables away for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these off to the side while we build. Leave our build area nice and clean. We have plenty of space to, to work with everything. Now my suggestion, just like with any other uh, construction or any other assembly that you're going to be doing with any other project, Try to keep all your parts in neat stacks in order, you know, you know, put them together. That way it's easy for you to follow what you need to do. And uh, that's about it. Just put them off to the side. So I'm going to quickly look at each one of these just to make sure they're all the same. Sure enough, they are. So I'm going to take one of them for now. And it says that we're going to need to get one of these blue pegs that are here. Now there are two types of blue pegs what I see. I'm not going to spill all of these out. I'm just going to take out the main blue pegs and see what the differences are. It looks like there's two different types of blue pegs in there. Okay. So according to this, it looks more like we're going to be plugging this guy into here. So there's actually some holes there. I'm going to adjust it according to the picture. And we're going to put some of those blue pegs in there shows that we're going to be putting two. Okay. Okay, so we've put two in there. We didn't need to use this one. Next up, it says we're going to need to use one of these orange brackets with, uh, looks like, one of these here. And we're definitely going to need, uh, let's see here, Looks like we're going to need one of these black ones and one of these blue ones. Looks like they're all the same, so we don't have to worry about those. So it looks like one of these blue ones will go plugged in here like so. Let's see how this is going to be plugged in.
Okay. And then this is going to go plugged in right here, like so. That was pretty straightforward. Ah, but it looks like we got to plug in, so let's take this out. And we actually have to plug this guy in first. Wow, this is a pretty simple kit to put together. So that's the uh, step one and two. Not really sure where we're going with this. I'm sure we might have to do more. Okay, so now we have step three. So basically we're going to be doing the same. It takes one of these black ones, one of these blue ones here. And we're going to do the same thing that we did there, which is basically we're going to plug these in here. Now, what I suggest you do is pay attention to when you're building this because it looks like there is some logic to which pieces go where and how they connect to keep things together. So that's step three. So the next step is we're actually going to be mounting some things and it looks like we flipped this upside down and they go mounted right here. So it looks like we're going to be grabbing two of these and they will just be mounted. Okay. So we're going to mount them here. There we go, there's one. Looks like both sides are the same, so it doesn't really matter what you do there. Two. Okay, so there we have that. So again, I'm not really sure where we're going with this, but let's find out. That's step four. Now we're going to move on to step five. So step five says we're going to need two more of these guys here. Then we're going to need these guys. Let's see. Two, two and two long blue ones. So we got one, two. You know, let's give these things names instead of the blue thing and the black thing. And Nope, there's no names, just numbers to them, so we'll just keep going. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be mounting it onto this portion here. How is this going to be mounted? So this looks like it's going to be going in like so. I'm just kind of feeling it out right now to see. Something like this here. All right. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can zoom in while we do this. These are smaller parts. Okay, there we have it. So we're going to be plugging these in here like so, on either side, one here, one here. And then these will be on the outside here like so. Okay. So it says step one, grab one of these guys here. And then, uh, let's see, we're going to put one of these through, all the way through, like that. Then we're going to grab one of these long ones and just push it through, like so. And then that next step will be to actually just put each one in place. Now these will go in place as such. There we have it. And it looks like this actually moves around when we do that. So that's kind of nice. Interesting. So we're going to follow the same step for the other side. Plug that in. All right. So we've done that part. It looks like this kind of moves around as you want to independently. Not really sure why, but we'll find out soon enough. Looks like I can get very creative with this. So that's step five. Now moving on, we've got step six. So step six looks like we're going to take, let's see, this guy right here. So we're going to take this one actual and two of these 